Bill, thank you. And our team coverage continues now with ABC 7's Tom Rousey. He spoke with a doctor about the extreme heat, and he's doing a, a rather unusual on-air experiment to show us the impact this heat can have when you are physically active outdoors. So do tell, Tom. Well, you know, they always say you sweat a lot in this kind of heat if you're working or exercising. So I'm going to exercise. I'm going to jog for basically the next 45 minutes to an hour, and we're going to see just how much weight you lose in sweat. And the point of that is it can be dangerous out here because if you're not careful, you can get dehydrated. Some people have no choice. They have to work in the heat. For others, they refuse to let it stop them from exercising. 95 degrees, humid. We're sweating a lot. Today is extremely hot. Taryn Overman with Virginia Hospital Center recommends working out early in the morning or after the sun goes down. But if you're going to exercise in this heat, especially if it's more than just a quick workout. Do you need to make sure that you're adequately hydrating before your workout, during your workout, and then after your workout? She also says be careful what you hydrate with. Some people use energy drinks loaded with caffeine. That's not good. Caffeine tends to make you lose your hydration. We want to add hydration and not deplenish it. There's a way you can check if you're getting enough water. People tend to not like to talk of the topic of urine, but look at your urine. If it's light yellow, you're hydrated. If it's very dark, try to drink a little bit more water, and that'll help make sure that you're hydrated. Water alone doesn't always cut it. Replacing electrolytes with drinks like Gatorade is also important. However, you also want to avoid juices and anything that's highly sugary, because um, again, that sugar depletes that hydration. Okay, so drinks like Gatorade, Powerade that replace electrolytes, they're good. But sugar is bad, which is kind of a problem because this has a lot of sugar here. So Taryn recommends get a drink like this, but then dilute it with just pure water. That way it won't have such a high sugar content, but it will replace those electrolytes that you need. Okay, now I'm going to start jogging in just a second. But first, I'm going to weigh myself without exercising. Let's see what I weigh here. Oh gosh, that's more than I thought I weighed. 185, so roughly 185.6. Remember that number, 185.6, because I'm going to jog for the next 40 minutes to an hour, and in our 5 o'clock news, we're going to see what I weigh. I guarantee it's not going to be 185.6, but it is going to be something lower than that. We'll see how much lower after I jog for about 40 minutes to an hour. So reporting live along the National Mall, I am Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. Ready, set, go. And he is off. All right, Tom, best of luck out there. <laughs> we will check in with Tom throughout the show.